Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another installment of the Need to Know podcast. What you need to know, when you need to know, need to know podcast. Today, man, we have a who you need to know. Hey, I think we got Harlem in the building. In the building, I think we do. I think they here. Mm. Huh? <laughs> See, that's what he was doing before. <laughs> that's what Harlem sound like. Oh, um, what's good, y'all? It's your boy A, as always, the Paco Robo and Poppy. I'm never alone, always with the posse. I'm a part of this posse, all right? You feel me? It's, it's, it's your guy, Savon, in the building, S-A-V-O. We got to throw the... Like, this is a hip-hop episode, for real, for real. Honestly. It's a hip-hop episode, for real, for real. Yeah. So it's only right, I finished the intro, but the S-A-V-O, and... <laughs> You got you feel me? That's kiss right there. Yeah, you got, you, you feel me? He likes the S A V O. You get know what I'm saying? That's kiss. Like, that's all kiss. It's not kiss though. Oh my fault. Right. I told you it's fad, bro. All right, that's all fad. It's yeah. fad, bro. F A V O. Yeah, he what? used to do that. I bet. My fault. Yeah, whatever my you want to do. That's you all fad. But you got Jada kiss is out the J A D A. Okay, sorry. Let me stop. Okay, so it's me, Reggie, guys. I'm extra excited for this episode because not only do we have you know a music artist, but you know we've been friends, so we're gonna get into that, but. In case you guys aren't familiar, we have to my left, we have today on the show, Harlem's finest, Fergie Baby. Hmm. Born and raised uptown, this talented ass rapper truly embodies everything about New York and is coming for everybody this year. <clears throat> Don't let his criminal justice degree from Penn State fool you because hmm. the truth and accuracy in his words are met with equal levels of creativity and confidence in his bars. And I mean it. He has some of the best delivery in the game, in my humble opinion. Check out for yourself because he has a bunch of projects out like Are You Done Volume 1 and 2, Baby Shit, his viral Truies, BBs and Canes freestyle on On The Radar, and his latest project, Harlem River Drive North, is out now. He's the truth. He's so, so talented. He's catching some head up in Regal. I stay while I'm out. I'm Steve-O. Hey. Fergie, baby. Welcome to Need to Know. Fergie! Oh. Clap it up. Let's clap it up. That was oh a my fire God. intro. You know, I, <laughs> y'all, I do do now. that for a living, so I'm, thank you. <laughs> nah, I appreciate welcome, y'all. Welcome, yeah, we welcome. outside, nah. man. Thank y'all for having me. Absolutely. For sure. For sure. Got to treat people well when they come visit us, man. Come on now. I feel it. Yeah, not nah, long time no see, man. On, it's been outside, like man. it's been like two days, right? Oh, brother. You came here with the two days, yo. Oh, brother. Where did you guys see each other at? We just ran into each other at the Rock Nation Fashion Week event. Yes. Okay. Shout out to um, Planes and Jay. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Shout out to Planes. Yes. Yeah. One Need thing about outside. Yes. One very outside. Yeah. Sure. And we got to see the rest of the industry. And most important, I got to see Fergie in it. Let me tell you about Fergie real quick, y'all. Please tell me. You ever go to the party? Okay. Yes. And you got to force the fun, right? Mm. Where like the music should be the deterrent as to why you turning up and having a good time, but people when they're just not moving, body not shaking, mm-hmm. hips not going, shoulders not shaking. You know what I'm saying? People do say parties these days. Lack that essence. Absolutely. People have said that, I would there say. Was, there, was a, there was a down moment at the event. And let me tell you, as soon as Chicken Noodle Soup came on, <laughs> Fergie oh, Baby and Co. turned that motherfucker up. Gangster. Real talk. And I wanted to talk about just having fun in music. Like mm-hmm. It looks Absolutely. like you still embody that. Like, you still have that. You have to. Where, where does that come from, bro? Come from where I was raised at Harlem, man. Like, you know, we was always fun. I was I, Before being an artist, I used to throw parties, you know? I used to do things for the community. Remember when so. actually people actually used to dance? Yeah, you know, really though, like dubbing all in the parties and all that. Especially like chicken soup. uptown New Yorkers. Yeah, especially. So it's still in me. I still embody that, you know. Nah, that's for so sure. If the vibe is there, we're gonna turn it up even I, more. I saw chicken noodle soup. I saw shoulder shaking. Very New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we was doing battles and all that. For Absolutely, that day. Absolutely, uh, I was. One thing that I love about just Harlem and New York energy in general is the confidence. Yes, you get what I'm saying. I, I watched some of your interviews. I listened to your music. And you just embody confidence. Yeah. Even your delivery on the songs, you know what I'm saying? Like, Especially his delivery. Where, where, did, yeah. where does that come from? Like I said, going back. Going I just feel like everything could be answered. I'm, I'm from Harlem. Like, really? <laughs> that's the thing about, like, that's like, the thing it about Harlem, cliche, That's how they do. It's really that. Like, yeah, if you're from that atmosphere, yeah. you just, especially your OGs that's, that's been in Harlem, mm-hmm. everybody had that. Like, we the home of the hustlers. We the trendsetters. We started this. So even if you don't got nothing to your name, you, your energy and your spirit still carry that. Mm-hmm. So, so Fergie, that's, that's I want you to speak is. to the people that never been to New York before, right? Uh-huh. Describe Harlem, the culture, that feeling. If, if you could put it in a sentence, right, how, yeah. how would you describe it? Um, it's just, you know, black excellence, black mindset, black culture, you know. Um, like I said in on one of my I just did I just dropped a trailer for my mixtape that's that's out right now. Um, you know, Harlem used to be used to be one of the black richest places for black mm-hmm. Americans. Mm-hmm. Black America. So we we still have that in our system to where it's like, what, we still we that. We that and we black. We proud of it. We embrace it. So mm-hmm. I think when you come to Harlem, you're gonna feel that from one tenth to one fifty fifth. 
from up and down from 116th to African Square to 2 5th. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Malcolm X Boulevard. Um, oh, damn, he know his You know what I'm saying? 3 5th, 4 5th, and then Rucker Park. Like, it's, everything mm -hmm. has a staple in Harlem where you feel black excellence. It you know? is so crazy how much culture that Harlem has and the impact and like how many trends and all the history, but it's only like a 40 block radius. That yeah. is so wild to me yeah. because that's there's like the special. rest of the world out there, but the trends are set in Harlem. Harlem and that's say, it's radius. A fact. And not for nothing, I, I, when we was at the event the other day, you know what I saw? I saw a lot of uh, love amongst newer artists. Yes. In New York. Yes. And I feel like for years, we've always said that it's been Atlanta that had the camaraderie and they come together. But when it comes to New York artists, Fergie, is it switching in New York? Yeah. Are people, the are New York is, artists starting? Yeah. Because yeah, we tired of it. Once once we hear it, like, we in last place and, you know, the, um, nobody want to really pass the torch to us, so we going to make our own torch, you mm. know? And I got to give a shout out to where, why New York is now developing within each, within each other, like, as far as the new acts. Cash Cobain is one of the Absolutely. ones to show and give us light. But to, to let people know outside of New York that we we the new ones we and we together doing it you feel what I'm saying mm -hmm. absolutely so and he doing it on a positive like he's talking about females he's talking about parties so it's like it's bringing a different new energy to the towns you feel me so mm -hmm. facts. speaking of new energy so I have been listening to Fergie baby and I know when people get on the cameras they love to lie mm -hmm. and exaggerate but I have genuinely been listening to him for over five years mm -hmm. this is true. so she was there. but this is true. I you know the beginning days I know Steve-O who Ooh. lit those tracks and stuff That's but crazy. on this one let's talk about the new project yes Harlem River Drive the, the feeling that I got from it, it's an EP so it's six tracks yes. it was a little more like vibey and like mm -hmm. for the ladies is that right or would you yes, say so or no for sure that's a that because the concept of that is just vibes mm -hmm. it's soulful harlem energy mm -hmm. you know i want you to when you're on your way to harlem or you on your way over here and you driving on that like highway, literally play it play it while you're on your way at nighttime in the car Ooh. that's that was my whole conceptual mm -hmm. i got that. on that's a tape, cheat code like, for you guys listening yeah, for the you know? men just throw this project on but what was your favorite studio session would you say when crafting this ep do you remember or was it kind of all done in one book or like one by one nah. that was one thing was like really sessions. memorable mm. it was different I just pick one that's like super memorable i would say harlem river drive the when title I harlem track river drive, yeah i love that the song. actual song it's probably my favorite on it yeah i appreciate that yeah and it's what just, happened in the studio it, i did that on spot in the studio mm. like it wasn't written or nothing like i knew the cook and i knew what i wanted to say really? but when i was in the studio i really made it there that's so it was like no i'm gonna dedicate this to harlem so i named literally everything about it in harlem i know that was, like, so, was so i went to the projects man. i went to the, mm. the the places you eat the places you go to like yeah. and it's that that song meant a lot to me because i always wanted to do a track like that yeah. and this is the perfect opportunity for it and the tape is called harlem of a drive right so mm. i think that one was one of the most magical sessions mm -hmm. for me E even though that you embody Harlem and there's a sound, there's a certain energy that come with being from Harlem, you embrace like a versatile sound. Yes. Right? Like I listened to your discography today and it was almost like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Like you had a, a real like a uh, fun one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, it was a, no, but it, yep. it was one of those things where it's like, oh, he's he's an artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It ain't just, oh, I'm from New York and the stigma that comes with a New York artist. Like I could feel the versatility. What allowed you to kind of embrace that in your music, in your delivery, um, even the people you collaborate with? Well, it started off just growing up with music, right? So I had my grandma listening to Al Green and Temptations. Then my father listened to Scarface and Nas. Oh, come I was on. a Michael Jackson fan. Mm -hmm. My mom used to listen to Drew Hill and Darnell Jones. So I had all these different compilations of music to where when I actually started music as seriously as a passion, I was able to tap into different sounds and different flows. So it's just like me being an artist, I always take heed of that, like, you know, collaborations is important. Mm -hmm. That also opens up your sound and just working with different people to get a different sonic energy. And I just feel like music is, is fun. It's an energy base, right? So you want to show people your different vibe and your different energy as you create. So mm -hmm. uh, you might hear a song where I'm talking about the ladies or I might be heartbroken or I might be like, yo, I'm that dude. Or I might be like, man, we outside. Like, it's different <laughs> vibes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to get from me because that's really me in real life. I'm going to give you everything that you need to feel. You feel what I'm saying? How, how important is that when you're creating music to have that background, being able to tap into an Al Green and just remembering like, yo, yeah. the roots of what I do, even though it's today, it's 2024, like, my roots is really embedded in music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not just rapping a certain type of swag or whatever. Like, I don't have to portray an image. I'm bringing me yeah. to what it is that I know. Yeah, just being a student of the game. Like, yeah, yeah. that's important. Yeah, that's super student. important. And super important. now that I'm an artist emerging, like, I want to be a student. I want to learn different backgrounds and different flows. Mm -hmm. And it's making me into a better artist sonically and mentally now. So you're being receptive, that's dope. You want to know how I know yeah. you're being receptive and how you're 
pulling from your upbringing. I'm listening to the project mm. and I'm going, thank God this nigga not singing on the hook because that's how we used to do it, right? <laughs> Yo, yes, get a get a go real get the, singer right, on Reggie? the hook. Go yeah. get the R and B yeah, song get the R&B. You hop in your bag, like that's why we love the Fab and Tamia joints, right? Yeah, that's why we, we gotta love bring the, that essence. Yeah, we gotta bring saying? that back. F A B O. You feel uh, what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know. That's <laughs> it. We need all that. That's a good but, yeah. but to kind of like piggyback over what Alex was saying, like, I do think that's super important. And, and not that, thank God we didn't hear you singing on the track. I know what you meant by that, right? <laughs> yeah, I know no, what you meant. Sing. No, 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 I, I get what you're saying, though. Okay. Sneaky. I get what you're saying. Okay. It's, he can it's, sing. It's the fact that. Yeah, low key, low key, low key. I remember that song. Nah, I was playing. I was playing. Uh, <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> it's just the fact that you are able to tap into, look, when you need me to get on there and, and use yeah. my vocal ability, I will, but I know right. when to play the role and be like, right. let me let me sit back and let the R&B artists do right. what they do. Like, that's what we missing, for yes, sure. For sure. sure. Mm-hmm. Fergie, I need some studio rules. Talk to me. What are Fergie's studio rules when he enters the studio? <laughs> what cannot happen? What's allowed? What isn't? Because yeah, everyone, everyone is so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What's what would I expect to go in the studio? Obviously, first hospitality, right? Okay. Like I need oh. to feel at home and I need to feel good because I am creating. I am an artist, so mentally and my energy needs to be right. So it has to be clean, of course. The engineer has to be welcoming. Um, oh, nah, that's, yeah, that's they important. Rude. They be rude, yeah. That's important. Now, <laughs> on, <laughs> now, on the studio, you gotta make sure all the engineers yeah, are in tune. Like, clean, damn, smell good. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? The lighting gotta be vibey. Okay. Like if we could switch the lighting off, I like all red in my studio sometimes. Okay. So you feel what I'm saying? Um, a bottle of Henny, of course. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, Henny still got you. Uh, still forever. Oh. <laughs> still, like, forever. I slowed yeah, down a lot though. I wild. I used to wild out. People back in the day, especially like when I was in college, that was like the cool drink Henny. Yeah, but now no people are all yeah, tequila. Nah. But he's like, no, Henny nah, forever. I'm, I'm a traditional dude. I'm, I stick to what I know. You get there. Yeah. You go. You gonna be on the rapper side? Don't worry. Yeah, nah, you gonna nah, be there nah. soon. I drink it if it's no Henny or do. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not a poet. But your go-to is still my honey. go-to is whatever, forever be honey. Okay, oh, that's why you. That's why you were so lit at Rock Nation. All they was serving what? was douce. <laughs> Wait, there, are they ball, both Kanye? Open bar douce. Yes. Okay, they're both Kanye. Both Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both Honestly, yeah. I, can't, yeah. I can't lie. Like, just like a Henny with cranberry and re- a lot of ice, it, ge- I, it genuinely tastes good to me. Bobby like, tastes does. good as a drink. So I don't I, even I, want I, no cranberry like ice. Give me okay, straight vibes. No, 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 <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. no like, I wasn't saying that. None of that. I ain't mad at that at all. Not at all. Um. So I heard in an interview, you said you've been doing music for about, what, six years now? Yes. A little bit like six years. Six years, exactly. Um, you you sound truly developed in Thank six you. year period. Like six Thank years you. is not a lot of time. It seems like a lot of time to most people, but when you're creating art, six years is really not a lot of time. Like, what are one of the things you're most proud of in your growth within that six years? Because well, when you first like, real quick example, yeah, nah, ahead, yeah. when me and Alex first started this podcast, it was about six, seven years ago. Yeah, whatever. same journey. Oh, so I hate. Beautiful. Listening to those first few episodes, I want to delete yeah, them off the internet. Like that. You yeah, get what I'm saying? That's the growing point, though. You need, you need it that. It is a little cringy. Now you guys about to say like, you need that. It's a part of the story. Do you? Yes, you do. Because, <laughs> like he says, a part of the story, and it's all your yeah. grind and your mm-hmm. brick by brick. My, like my first song, Bleachers, even though it's a smash hit, look where but I'm at now. But that is a smash hit, though. You came out the gate with Bleachers, one of his yeah, biggest yeah, songs. Yeah, and yeah. Song. but I'm just saying, in his aspect, it's just like from where you at now, going back, it's like, damn, I grew. And damn, I, I like. I, I don't like here, but now I, I accept of who I am now as a, as a podcast and doing my thing. It's like you need that. It's an elevation point. Mm. Yeah, and it's also yeah. give you confidence and motivation to keep going. For sure. I yeah. like seeing the journey as well, like going from your first episode to seeing now and be like, yo, look at our set. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's like, I do like that, but I think you, your first song was lit. Like it's good. You could play it today and people still love it. You could still perform it. But mm. in terms of podcast though, I feel like it's a little different because yeah. if I listen to my first episode I ever did, it's like genuinely like a little cringy. And also in podcast <laughs> you world, different. if you listen to your episode from seven years ago, like there's probably something that will get us canceled. Not gonna lie. Yeah. So I don't know. Should we delete them? No, don't go back. That's what I'm saying. Hey, y'all, Let's don't delete go them. Back. I don't know. <laughs> this is not a drill. Okay, wait. But speaking of you know, <laughs> yesteryear. Yeah. So we were, me and Fergie were about to speak about this off camera. But I was like, no, it's save it for. I want the guys to hear this. So for the listeners of the pod. I kind of say all the time, I'm like, you guys, like, I've lived so many lives. Um, this this she this era this. that you're in now, that you see me now, when I came on the pod was 2021. Wholesome, you know, not as outside. But Fergie, I met him <laughs> in like 2018. 
Outside. Outside. Out, how is that? <laughs> can, outside. You just, can you just vouch for me? Because I feel like yeah, people, Fergie, tell us. I, I feel like the guys and the listeners don't believe that. I was never like this. She's a housewife yeah. to me. Like when <laughs> I was like, yo, you was never like She always stayed the same. Don't get it, don't get it fooled. Right now, she's just a little bit more reserved, but she was outgoing, outside, willing to do whatever if it's fun and it's good energy. Say word. Come to videos, events. What? We outside. You was a video vixen? Yes, I was. I don't want to say, I don't like that. Okay, no, but video vixen. It doesn't have a negative connotation or something because no, I feel like it's an honor. No, 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 no. But are you were you a video victim for real? Like, I mean, that was that not daily. what I did. I've been in like three or no, four. So you're not yeah, a video yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. So, but, but you did your special pop up. She on the cusp. Three, three, three. Oh, the, the threshold is five. The, I think the ten. threshold is five. No, I think ten. Ten. Okay. Ten to be a to, to, to be, be a real video victim. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you do. So what's three? Three is like if I mess with you, I'm a pop out. Like G League. A G League is shit. I'll take it. I don't G League is a little crazy. We got the professional. And AU is more fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely more fun. And we already had a relationship, and she she was like before anything, she was my friend and she was a fan of of mine and my music. So it was it was a no brainer. Oh hell yeah, let's do it. Like you know, what are you talking about? Um, everybody go look up Fergie Baby Steve O video. I'm in that shit, and I made I made airbrush tees for him. With, with the girls' names oh, on them, he was a good friend. Like yeah. I, I literally love his music <laughs> so oh, much. Like, Shoot. and I found you through, um, like genuinely through his music. Um, yes. there was this recap party video, and someone posted your song "Who Lit," and that was like the song. And I was like, "Who is this?" Like, I need yeah. to find him. And I just, yeah. I was just, I was just enamored. I was like, "Oh my god, his music is <laughs> amazing." That was your soul for a And now, and now, you remember? I always used yeah, to post on my story, and then now, look at us. Five years later, oh, you're on the pod, Great promoting time. Harlem. River Drive North. Yes. Stream I'm so, it. I'm so Go glad we're taking a stroll. Yeah, please, right now. Yes, yes, right I'm now. glad we're taking a stroll back in time. I want to do the same for you right now, Fergie. How did Harlem feel with the emergence of ASAP Mob when you were a little younger? Oh, fuck. like how did it feel? What did the streets feel like? What what were your friends doing mm. when ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferguson was just popping off? Ooh, I was in high school I hate, too. I hate when. Sorry, I'm gonna let you go. No, but like, yeah. I just hate when. People forget that era because you know with ASAP Rocky now he's a lot different now. People don't remember, <sighs> mm -hmm. and they act like they really weren't the coolest people on the planet at one point. So. She's subbing me. I forget. <laughs> no, 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 you, no, everyone. No, no, I'm being honest. No, no not you. Everybody, I forget. Everybody. I do forget. <laughs> so enlighten us. Okay, please don't. Nah, please don't. I mean, I was in high school, you know, like yeah, yeah, so. At that. that time, I was just I was still a music fan. I wasn't into music. wasn't rapping. I was just school and ball. Yeah, facts. And ASAP came out, and that was that was a time. Like I'm in Harlem, lit. Like, but at that time, a lot of the Harlem dudes used to go like downtown to Soho. Yeah, LES. That's LES. Because yeah. that was the trend, that was the fashion. Even the Harlem, mm. like, even them, the mall. They was in Harlem, of course, but their second location was downtown. So I remember when this is how I first discovered Kiff, Atrium. R.I.P. Atrium. R.I.P. Atrium. Good nudie jeans. Couldn't you find what I'm no saying more. with the Pyrex shirts, the first off Come white on. vibe. He's a R.I.P. Nah, Atrium. Nah, because Atrium, if you knew, you knew, man. And that's mm -hmm. when Kiff was in the back yeah, of the in the store. back of Atrium. It was two Ooh, inches. But now it's like Facts. so... Everyone knows Kiff. It's mainstream. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That's Thank you, thank you. Good word. Yeah, man. Good Kiff, word. But that was the vibe, man. Yeah, like, absolutely. It was beautiful. Like, that's an old fashion tip, but as far as music, it, it definitely put a limelight on Harlem. Like, right. like who is these new group of kids named ASAP? Right. You know, and they all had, they was all fun. It was all lit. They was all jiggy. That was the word, too. Jiggy, mm -hmm. jiggy. Yeah. Yes. So it was like, that was a time. To wow. be alive. Mm -hmm. um, the Tumblr alive. days. Tumblr, Tumblr days. yes. Oh, yes, man. that was Flash the ASAP. Back. Remember Glenn Brown before he started Shot the really Glenn. managing? Yeah. They don't Cash know. What was it, Elian? That was Lemph? What was it, Elian? Ah, fuck, I forget oh, his brand. No. But it starts with an L. Shout out to Glenn. Him and yeah. Justin Sky, like yep. those are the Tumblr Oh my gosh, yes. If you Facts. know, you know. Mm -hmm. Facts. So they definitely set the tone that the, the culture forward going like with that. Wait for me. Because after, what was it? I'm thinking about artists after Dipset. Who on like on a global level people really identify with um, on a, on an uptown scale on an uptown yeah, scale yeah ASAP Mall is probably the next one probably the next one's up right like yeah. we got your Vados in the midst of things well, like I'm that in pro, well that's that was Brooklyn though but that's pro Brooklyn, right. Joey 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 badass right but right now on the Harlem tip yeah ASAP Mall is probably the next vibe coming wow. out. Mm. That's special, man. I was watching, uh, he did a shout out to our good friend of the pod, Armand. Yes. Stay busy. I was watching your interview shout with him. him. And something you said, I just resonated with so much. I just, I hope this doesn't come across the wrong way. But what you said something along the lines of like, yo, I be making my music. I know it's so good. And we be listening to it like, why not? Why am I not bigger? It's like, yo, do you guys not hear me? Like, mm. why am I not? Do you feel like you're slept on still? Because the reason why I resonated with it is because... 
like I just feel like sometimes I feel like I'm really that girl, but people don't realize it. And I, and I, I also, Coco Jones said this recently. She was like, sometimes when I'm auditioning, the casting directors aren't impressed with me, but I'm like, guys, I'm really that girl. I need you to realize. Do you mm. feel that still? Or do you feel like you're having a moment now and people finally appreciate you like you should, or they got to appreciate you more? It's both, but they definitely got to appreciate me more. Like, mm -hmm. I'm glad, like, the new, um, the new eyes is on me, the new attention, as it's supposed to, you know, because I've been had this. I knew I was him, but. They, everybody, more like people got to wake knew. up. Everybody got, everybody got to wake up, you know? Because <laughs> I don't think nobody like me. I'm, I'm providing a different type of energy that nobody is giving right now. I, sure. I saw a tweet the other day that um, said, one of the saddest things for new artists is that they had to turn into content creators. Mm. Do you agree with that? One of the, mm, no, it's not a sad thing because at this game right now, you have to shoot content for, to, be a, to be an artist, right? So short form content is key with TikTok, you know, YouTube shorts. Even Instagram, that's how, and the independent game is, is key right now. So you have to shoot your own content for you to get exposed correctly. So you're saying it, it has to be added a part of the art, artistry now by yeah, default. Yeah, that, that has to. Like, you don't ever feel like to. as an artist though, like, damn, yo, like, I really know my raps. Yeah. Now I really got to learn how to edit and do this and that on TikTok and this. Does you ever have, come to that, uh, that juncture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always a, a transition period, right? Because it wasn't that before. So right. now that is... Is you have to do it. Yeah, I had I had a moment to where it's like, I ain't doing these TikToks. I ain't doing it. But it's necessary. Right. Because it's like, that's your marketing tool now. You know? So if you don't do that, how are people going to see you? Yeah. You know? I heard someone say, it was like an OG. Um, I can't believe I don't remember who said it. But like a really established person in the industry was like, honestly, artists have always been content creators. They said something mm. like that like years ago. So I, I kind of agree with that. But mm. then I also think about like, Really, in 2024, if you want to blow up as an artist, do you really have to make content? Because you know there's artists that don't, aren't like that at all. Like, they barely use social media and they genuinely are just amazing artists. Do they really have to, like, have people always been content creators? Or, I, mean, I don't know most how part, I feel yeah. about it, honestly. I don't know. Most, for the most part, yeah, you have That's to do cool. your own content. Like, there's only a few selective few artists that can go by and not, the mysterious play works. Like, a Playboy oh, card. Yeah. They're different. outliers, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's, it's certain people work. But for the most part, yes, you have to. Especially as an independent artist. If you don't have no machine, you have to shoot your own content to be visible to the masses. Okay. It so. sounds like your mindset changed. You said, Hell at yeah. first, you was like, nah, I ain't nah, really fucking with it. But now you seem like you embrace it a little bit more. It's fun. I, I want to give, uh, uh, I want to highlight, spotlight, the aspect of having a strong team. You came in here, again, like you said, you and I, we got to get a little bit more familiar with each other, sure. tapping. Again, I'm tapping in with your music. I see Appreciate the motion. You. you got all that going. You. you know what I'm saying? As far as a personal relationship, the way you got with Alex and Reggie, yeah. we don't got that. But I always think it's very telling when people walk in a room with a group of people and everybody else is like, yo, I ain't see you in Mad Long. Right, yo, right, what's right, going right. on? You know what I'm saying? Like, we were all connected in some type of For way sure. or we've all met in some type of way before. Mm. Like, speak to the importance of being an independent artist, having a strong team, um, how they kind of help you in this specific phase of your artistry. That's essential. Like, without a team, like, you, you, at the end of the day, you know what you want for yourself, right? You always want to have the executive decision, but you need people that has your best interest, but also not a yes man. So mm -hmm. when you have people in your team that has your best interest and tell you, like, nah, you should do it this way, it, it just gives you a different perspective of what you're doing for yourself. And the outcome may be a little, well, way, way better. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because now you have different people could tell you what they feel and what their experiences is. Like for my for, for my example, my team is I have everything within my team. I have a graphic designer, I obviously have management, I have a producer, I have an engineer. I don't have to go outsource. Mm -hmm. I have to I can and, and that's what makes us more have more leverage with these labels, you know? Exactly. Like mm -hmm. now it's like they want to see you have that. So I feel like it's essential for you to get shit, get things done when mm -hmm. you have a team. For sure. Like you have to have a team and a team that understands you a team that knows their role mm -hmm. and a team that has your best interest. And that's hard. Those three components is very hard for mm -hmm. you to have a complete team because maybe somebody don't know their role. They don't, they don't even have your best interest mm -hmm. or they just don't understand you. And, sure. I, and I had to go through that. Some like The hard way. Yeah, you have to go. You have, I, yeah. I feel like every, every artist, every creative, every entrepreneur has a time where they were placing seats mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get things better internally. You know? For sure. So that's a part of the... the, the it's a learning process. Yeah, the process. And it's trial and error. Yeah. yeah. So, well, it's essential, though. It is essential, absolutely. Mm. Especially when you want to continue to do this. Yeah. I want to know what you love about the journey right now versus what you hate about the journey right now. You could be honest. We could curse. 
Nigga, hell yeah. I've been yeah, waiting for your curse. What the nigga, fuck? Nigga, nah, nah, nah. Nigga, 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 I've been through some things. Mm. I was like, you can curse, you know. Yeah, right? yeah, nah, you know, that's what made me really ask about the team. I thought the team looked at you like, nigga, you better not say that shit. Yeah. You know what the fuck are you talking about? Nah, that's the, so that's that's the thing, thing I hate. That's the thing I hate the most right now. Dick riders, man. And just like, <gasps> oh. yeah, it's a lot of Yeah, guys. I just hate it. And because as soon as I'm lit, now the niggas that slept on me, now they, wanna. At, now they want to be a part of the vibe, you know? Yeah. Um, and we need I, those, though. Yeah, we do. It's, it's balanced. Mm -hmm. mm. But, that's true. It's a balance between like welcoming them and be like, it's like you a know? bench. It's a benchmark to me, at least. Like, oh, I'm, I'm here. here. I, 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 yeah, because yeah, the like people, that's what haters is. Yeah, that's what haters is. You yeah. haters. Got you. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that, I, I say that's the most part right there. And then, thing, the best thing about it is, is, the, is the journey. I love it. Mm. Like just figuring it out, trials and tribulations, like learning, sponging everything in, and just doing the shit is fun. Mm -hmm. Like, like one of the bad things too is when it becomes a job. Now it's not fun anymore. Oh my god! You know, so mm. the worst. I'm just grateful. That's the that's the thing. The people around me, good energy, and this is why the outcome it is what it is now. Because not only myself that I have, I carry that confidence and that energy. Everybody around me that I made sure is here. Yeah. Is is all like yeah, we we dumb yeah. and mm -hmm. we doing this together. Yeah. For sure. So that brings a different energy. With all of us, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. so Speaking of um, just content creation in general, I always like to ask artists, what is some of the content that y'all consume outside of music? Right? There's podcasts, there's YouTube, there's TikToks, there's Netflix. These all these other things pulling at our attention. What is it that you outside of the music? We know you you breathe, sleep, eat music. Okay. Outside of that, like, what are you kind of consuming? Well, like I said, I used to play ball recre recreationally. Well, I used to play ball for real, but I do it on the side. Mm -hmm. But as far as like an everyday thing, um, I'm starting to dip into like the fashion world. I want to do fashion stuff now. Like, you know, as far as like, Yeah, we see the, we see oh, the veil. Shit. We see yeah, the veil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay tips on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Good feet. Nah, but for real though. Good like, feet. Also, you're from Harlem. You're, you're naturally stylish, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I love fashion. I want to actually do my own fashion line. But right now, I just want to do brand partnerships, endorsements, mm -hmm. um, more photo shoots. I'm starting to into that world now. Mm. And I feel like it goes hand in hand with what I'm doing already. Um, other than that, like, yeah, just music. Play 2K sometimes. For sure. You know, yeah. you know the vibe. Need the 2K. <laughs> yeah, Why did you look yeah. at me? I, thought... I don't think you play 2K. Wow. Right, no, not, I mean, not, I don't, not, but... Not, not, I'm just saying, I'm like, yeah. for real. Like, yeah. I can say that. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I just want to yeah. say, just while you're speaking, speaking of brand partnerships, let's manifest a G-Shock uh, partnership, please. please. Because Run I it. used to wear that so much. I really thought do. I was a fly. Mm -hmm. I had a yellow right. G-Shock, but he's wearing it in 2024. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. And, and it makes me think about your recent record, True is BB and Kane's. Oh, great time. Let's take it back I just think uh, that's like right? the biggest thing of the year, right? Uh, I love how we had so much to talk about that we didn't bring it up yet. But yes, that's like the biggest moment of your year. I'm so viral. proud of you. I saw Swiss so Beats good. repost. Going crazy, going Watch crazy. The music. Man, guys, amazing. Please, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been trying to gas him off this whole time because I really want you guys to listen to his music. Please. L listen to the, no, watch the music video of that. The freestyle too, but watch the music video. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you have to take it back. Like, Cause I ain't gonna lie, that's that was part of the uniform in high school, right? What we had? Pele. Truies, Nudies, uh -huh. Robins, uh -huh. Antiques, ACGs, Gamonas, Constructs, B. B. Simons, uh -huh. B from Broccoli's, you know, Maury Gators, Pradas. Um, I could go on and on. What like, was Lil Yachty talking about? I don't know what he's talking Stop, about. Stop, we're going to get mad again. No, shout to Yachty. Oh, my God. like his music. Right. We like his music. He, he lost me with that one. He lost, he lost me with that He one. was just objectively wrong. Like, object. it wasn't subjective. It was, he was just wrong. Because we grew up in it. He been going through some shit. It was a black and white. He been going through some shit. He was just wrong. He went crazy. Like, it's not an opinion. He's just wrong. Absolutely. And then talking in that in a New York attire. A whole New York fit. That lost me. Like, you don't see what you got on right now? The polo rugby. It was the red hair. <laughs> he brought Shout the right hand. It was the right hand. Because us New Yorkers, we remember growing up in that. So when we heard that verb, it's just like, dog, he hmm? went crazy. What's he know, on? he know, he messed up. Yeah, he apologized. Shout out to Yadi. Shout out to Yadi, man. Shout out to him. Um, this yeah, project you have out right now, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to speak to it. You said it's the it's it's the North version, right? Be it's clear. North, with it. Break North. it down for me. So I mean, Harlem River Drive is a love letter to Harlem, right? Um, it's a love letter to Harlem, and I just wanted like you know how Fabulous had his own soul tape. Yeah, I kind of wanted. I conceptualized that and made it my own. F A B O for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, stop it's, giving him not, the opportunity to you, do that. We giving him an assist, and he just laid it up. Laid it. He just laid it. 
<laughs> oh, fat for sure. He had the series. You know what I'm he did have the series. Oh, okay, so that's kind of what you see the size, right? Yeah, like my okay. own though. Like I don't gotcha. want to say I'm copying or just all for no, that. No, every but, artist gotcha. has yeah, that like signature series. That's yeah, my yeah. inspiration. Like you see how his covers mm. was the Apollo and just all these different yeah. staples of New York. Yeah, like. My staple of New York to get to New York for the most for the most part is Hollywood Drive. So welcome uh, to my world. Come yeah. to Hollywood Drive to come to see me. Uh, do yeah. you see yourself releasing music like Fab has over the years? I think Fab is one of the most intelligent people in the music industry over the last twenty years. Mm -hmm. Barely put out albums. He avoided mad parties. I don't know, but shout <laughs> no, wait, what do you mean? By <laughs> You he cut it like, out. Nah, he's like, good. Like, he he said he, he said he was uh, one of the smartest. He was so like, intelligent. That's, that's foresight. That's like, all. Super foresight. Real talk, right? Like, or again, we just remember the. <laughs> fucking up my yeah, face. Crazy. This nigga's crazy. I'm telling you, this nigga's different. Fuck. See what you got to know. Him, this is how yeah, he is. I see. I see. You see the nigga, see. right? Watch this nigga. <laughs> You see how before the camera's right, he's always like, you know, hello, how are you doing? But right. this, this is the real one. Yeah. But do you want to like EP him to death? I'm, I'll tell you, nah, <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna no. tell you what I tell new artists. I'm gonna keep it a buck. But you kind of in a different um, category position. because yeah, different position because yeah. you've had records that have already taken off yet. I tell him to single these niggas to death. Wait, is that good? Mm. I don't, I don't know. I'm not see, an artist, but like. I don't know. Is that, I just say do the good? single momentum until you feel like the album, the the tape is ready. I feel like okay. singles is like obviously building that anticipation, but it's also for me a strategic way of stalling them. Mm. Like <laughs> cooking up for the bigger meal, you are. I see what so, you're saying. That like, makes sense. It's funny because uh, a few years ago, I remember Russ was talking about one of his strategies was dropping a single every single week. Yeah, um, worked for him. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Oh, it it kind of works. That's tough. That's tough. That's okay. tough. Okay. I don't know. As a consumer, I don't really like that. Like so many singles, I'm like, all right, like, because they all live by mm. themselves and they're all so right. scattered. It's a good point. I don't know. I just love. I love a good See, project. I love. I'm a glad you said as a consumer. If I'm an artist, though, I'm thinking about retention, right? And see, you do a really good job of re-promoting your songs and promoting them as long as they need to live. Mm -hmm. In fact, a lot of artists don't do that, right? Like they right. put out the project and they'll probably promote for like two, three weeks. And then, if unless it went everywhere, most people are not really going. Nah, back I was to like that. It took a team for me to realize, like, we first of all we create a marketing plan, so we know when to start and cut off the the the, the promotion and, and on our and then work on the next single or the next project. Oh, he got so, a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nah, I was <laughs> yeah, heavy yeah. on. Oh, I'm gonna drop this video next week. I'm I'm done. I'm not. I'm about to share the same clip over and over. But yeah. it's yes, not sharing to. the same clip. Now you're just doing different content for that one song. Right. So mm -hmm. that's how you keep them spent. Like you know, keep them still eating off the shit. Like, exactly. You know what I'm right. Right. Because when you put when you make a project, you make an album, an artist puts a lot of work into it. And I'm gonna be honest, man. If I make a 20 track album, y'all niggas better sit down and listen. Yeah, 20 track. That's album, how, you know, I don't know if I ever do that. Really? What's your max? What do you think your max is? Like 13. Ten, ten, the most, the most I ever go. I feel like in my music career, I'm the most I go probably sixteen. I like that. twenty is crazy. I might, might, is if we do crazy. twenty, it's this extended version or a deluxe. Yeah, or it's that type of energy. I, I hope you, you stand on that because yeah. the industry seems like they're pressuring artists to do the Chris Brown. But why? <laughs> Because streams. like what he said, retention. Retention is right? At the end of the day, I always like yeah, to give this example. Well, we got short extent attention span. At the end of the day, we mm -hmm. could just give them ten and ten. So mm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a counter argument just mm. to that, right? The Chris Brown situation. He did 40, 50 songs, right? Out of that 40, 50 songs, me personally, I took about 12, 15, and I made my own situation out of the 40. So the album and the algorithm, because I'm sure as you know, as an artist, like we're fighting against the algorithm too. You're yeah. fighting against the algorithm. You're fighting against the YouTubers, the TikToks, the politics. Like yeah. even though we have our own aura, our own motion and our own lane, we are still fighting for other people's attention, essentially. You know what I'm saying? So I could see people trying to pressure upcoming artists, newer artists, mm -hmm. on saying, yo, we need more, 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 more. When the ever we come from is like, no, I'm going to give you the best body of work that I have. Y'all are going to love it. And then just keep it there. So I hope you do keep that same mindset. Like, yeah. no, I, I like 16. This feels good for me, yeah. which I think will be good for the people that support me. And yeah. no skips. No skips on it. Every song no is a skips. hit. Yeah. yeah. For, and like I said, if you want more, just drop a next album the next month. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, well, I'm not about to give you 20 in one. Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like that's also burning me out too. Like, yeah. you unloading the clip too fast. Like, mm -hmm. how do you how do you feel about um, the people who just freestyle on Instagram still? What do you mean freestyle? Like, just dead freestyle? Just, they'll just put up the camera. And just freestyle in the car. Are you thinking about somebody specific? Some people it works for though. No, yeah. who are you talking about? No, nobody. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, no, I swear, everything I love is I have nobody in particular. I just thought that maybe that's phasing out, right? When it comes to retention, right? If I'm scrolling down on my phone 
And I just see, because that was repetitive. That's all we saw for a while, right? Yeah. Just pull up the phone, just freestyle, whatever. And then it converted into bigger freestyles, right? Like, whereas, like, now we have something like on the radar, where it's like, yo, it's current, it's trendy, it's young. All right, when people think about freestyles, they're thinking about something that's more elaborate now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, do you feel like that's still effective? Like, just. Yeah, it's effective. Yeah. It depends on what artist you are, too. Right. Because there's a lot of artists that still, that method still works for them. Like, it, it really depends. Like, I, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, it don't work or just people got to stop because to this day, freestyle platforms works for, for mm -hmm. certain artists. Right. Mm -hmm. you know? Well. I just don't like that because now sometimes, based over what we in with social media, it could box you in as an artist. Mm -hmm. And that's so kind of what I was speaking choose. to. Right. You have to pick and choose. Because now oh. when, a, when a fan is... When they, whatever they remember you for is, oh yeah, he always put the freestyles yeah. like freestyle on his artist. IG. Opposed to you yeah. doing like three freestyles a day and uh, three freestyles a year and it's right. like, and you kill all three of them. It's like, damn. damn. I, now they looking for, I can't wait to hear the freestyle. Exactly. Yeah. The anticipation. Oh Just like, like yours. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's, but that, I had to train my view, like mm -hmm. my people for that. Right. Like mm -hmm. y'all not about to see me on these freestyle platforms. Y'all know I can rap. Facts. But I want y'all to feel it like when I do hit a platform, it's like, oh, like, get ready. Yeah. Because yeah. it's mm -hmm. something. Yeah. But like, I like you know? that too. You're not afraid to really show energy or no, yeah. inflect mm -hmm. your voice or change the cadence. Fluctuate. Yeah. Fluctuate. Like mm -hmm. we used to get a lot from that from Buster Rhymes, Missy Elliott. Like you do the same thing. Yeah, for sure. And it separates you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's fun too. Like, I could do whatever. I could go to whatever genre, whatever vibe, and I can have fun and still, you can still hear me. I can still feel my energy. For sure. I could, we're gonna, do, I could do slow, I could do fast, or whatever. We're going to be hearing you everywhere. You guys remember this interview, but yeah, we've done it this. again. We had a time slot and we could not stop talking because there's so much to talk about. Uh, yeah. That's it? Oh. See? It? Oh, <laughs> so much I don't want to do it, but you know. So much so right. Yo, you want to pull up too? We're just nah, getting yeah, yeah. started. Okay, yeah, okay. But literally, we went way over because we just yeah. love speaking to you. Nah, but you know, nah, we're not going to just cut you off like that. But you know, how yeah. are you feeling? What's next, please? Your last words. Just manifest some things right now. The floor is yours. Well... Harlem River Drive North is out right now. Can we out get a... right now. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. Ferg baby Harlem baby. It's a lot in store. I got a lot of projects about to drop. Y'all just got north. You're about to get south. Y'all might get something else after. Ooh, but we got a lot of projects, a lot of shows, big shows coming up. We just manifesting it. And as a manifestation, I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be global, man. Just of not course. as an artist, as a as a mogul, as an entity, as a brand. Um, sure. I love that. Harlem yeah. needed. Yeah, the game yeah, needed. Need yeah, it's time. Need it. no, no, it's time. It's time. I'm so I'm serious. We, yeah. we 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 do need that. Like ASAP. ASAP is in billionaire world with a billionaire yeah. girl. Alex, you got billionaire boys club. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> niggas from Harlem join join that's, that. That's crazy because two seven Deli ASAP Ferglo yes, brother. He's, he's a new brand ambassador for billionaire boys club. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy. Wow. We bringing everything. It's all happening. Like it's all happening how it should. Wait, we were that shit, man. We. That's beautiful. Much love to y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah, and of I course. Have, great interview, by the way. I'm glad you, you have me. Hopefully, we're going to come back to my next project okay, when sure. it really Good. makes sense. Yes. And we're going to turn up. The thing, with us, <laughs> the, the, the thing with us is you don't even need a project to pull up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm we're saying? We're going to talk like, about topics, yeah. too. Yeah. I want to yeah, just come. Yeah, next time, we could just talk. Today, though. Today, though. It was about music. It was about music. We definitely wanted to make sure we we emphasize the music. But there's also a lot of things in the news. We ain't want to. Actual about <laughs> yeah. That's it. So that's really why we had to cut yeah. it the way that we did. Yeah, but man. thank you for pulling yeah, up, bro. You, right. hey, it was a pleasure meeting Yo, you. Thank you for right. sure. Fergie baby, Harlem Roller <gasps> Drive from Harlem. Right now, out now, everywhere in your phone. See, I need to know, family. Peace. <laughs>